Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. And in this segment, we would be remiss not to share our thoughts on the latest RFK endorsement of Donald Trump. Uh, I have some thoughts. I actually, in one of the statements, RFK said he kind of confirmed a suspicion of mine, which we'll share here shortly. But uh, right off the bat, yes, we are fully aware he's a liberal. We are fully aware he's not exactly a Second Amendment guy. We're fully aware that he's pro-choice. In almost every sense, he's a classic liberal. He is not a leftist. And you could draw a fine line between those two. And uh, I'll defer to my esteemed colleague for any thoughts at this time. (laughs) <laughs> well, he's an example of a guy that you can uh, disagree with on, on things, and, but then still understand he's not wrong about everything. And he's not wrong about everything. He's right about a number of things. And I think oh, there's he's... an appeal to, in particular, uh, moderate Republicans and libertarians, perhaps. Uh, there's an appeal to him. Well, uh, I just can't live with what else comes with him. That's it. Well, I, I will confess. This for me, this is an uneasy alliance and fingers are crossed. And, you know, at the, but at the same time, this is where the political pragmatist in me rears its ugly head. Well, what I'm you waiting, know? I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. When is when is George W. Bush going to come and endorse Kamala Harris or or Paul Ryan, the sellout? When it so because they, they got to have a counter to our. Well, you, you know, there. well, we just we talked in a previous segment of a couple of weeks ago, we talked about that uh, memo or letter or whatever it was that that sent out that had uh, rhino Republicans signing on to these leftist Democrats, you know, and, and I yeah. got to tell you, if if whether it's a, whether you say you're a, a rhino or, or whatever, high road Republican or whatever, where is your head? When you say a leftist is 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 a better choice than than the the worst Republican, whether it be Trump or someone else, right. you know. So, any anyways, wh- what I suspected, and RFK RFK kind of confirmed this. I suspected that yes, he's a liberal. And how many times have we heard, I didn't leave the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party left me? Well, Ronald Reagan is famous for saying it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? The Democrat Party just didn't leave RFK. They basically kicked him out, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, whether for right reasons or wrong reasons, uh, you know, they, they, they gave him, they pretty much gave him the boot. They so much for DEI making- when it comes to someone like him. Yeah. And and they, you know, know, and we've talked in the past how they've rigged primaries and and this and that. And, and, you know, I still think they kind of stole that primary from uh, Bernie back in 2015, 16. But, uh, you know, they using their little tricks and and catch 22s and hoops and everything else to to keep RFK out of the Democrat primary. And and uh, how dare he run as as an independent and. And he pretty much had his fill of it, you know. Um, You you got to know it's pretty bad when a liberal says to my point here, he basically said, yes, I have many disagreements with Trump and the Republican Party. However, these disagreements are secondary to what the real issue is, and that is the Democrats are out of control leftists. They're over the deep end. And and, you know, it's bad when even a liberal says, I can't side with that. I've got to go with the my what ought to be my opponent. Well, you Tulsi know? Gabbard was first in that parade. Exactly. Exactly. And now look what they're doing to her, trying to brand her a domestic terrorist, put her on no fly list. But People, uh, this is a hint as to what's as to how they operate and what's coming. And it isn't just coming for famous people. It's coming for you, too. Oh, you better yeah, understand yeah. that. And, and, and we've talked uh, oh, years ago about how the Democrats, uh, if you're not all in, you're all out. 
and and they'll they'll eat their own if if you're not all in. Uh, another thought here regarding uh, RFK and Trump's alignment with RFK. Perhaps this is our version of reaching across the aisle. I mean, yeah. how many times have have they said we you know you need to reach across the aisle? Okay, well. How do you like this reach? <laughs> well, we you had know? a comment on a, on a video this week, and it brings this to mind. He said, uh, to, I, th- I assume it was a he, said that uh, we our disdain for anyone not conservative is corrosive to America. And then in the next five replies, because I had a little back and forth with him, in the next five replies, he tells me how much disdain he has for us. Right now, I don't have a whole lot of disdain for uh, RFK. And he's sure not conservative. And that's why I said right up front at the beginning of the segment. Right. Yes, we know he's a liberal. OK, we know this. OK. And neither uh, of us would be voting for him. So let's oh, make that clear. For sure. For sure. But uh, uh, in any event, uh, that's that's pretty much all I got for this. I, oh, th- this could have a, a, a noticeable impact in the swing states. You got these swing states. That are even are uh, that are either uh, tie within the margin of error, or if if we're fortunate, uh, Trumps up one maybe two percent, or vice versa with with Kamala. Okay, it's not but, enough though. Well, but here's the thing: in a lot of these swing states, RFK was polling three to five percent. Right. If we can get a half to maybe two thirds. I'm hoping because because we've been we've said this a, a number of different ways now for the last few months. Our concern is whether or not uh, Trump will get enough votes to overcome their expected electoral anomalies. Right. Uh, code speak for cheating. OK. Right. And I, I, I just I just hope this this helps in uh, as I like to say, I hope this helps in our endeavor, you right. know, but uh, so. So maybe this is maybe this is the X factor in getting that extra one or two percent where we need it the most to to take Pennsylvania, maybe Michigan, maybe Wisconsin. And, you know, Georgia, it looks like Georgia's going Republican. Uh, Heck, could this could this help with Virginia? Think about that. Okay, and and I know I'd be amazed. I would be absolutely amazed knowing the number of government employees who live in Virginia would vote for anything other than a much bigger government. Well, point, point, touche to that point. But, uh, you know, Biden's got to take Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. He's got to take all three. Trump Shape. just need, yeah, Trump just needs to take one of them. Okay. Right. And, and between them, you know, between the Democrats snubbing uh, Shapiro, uh, between their EPA out of control regulations that maybe the Pensa, people in Pennsylvania will wake up. Uh, heck, maybe maybe the UAW rank and file in Michigan will wake up. You know, I'm not uh, wor- worried too much about the rank and file, but the, the, the UAW leadership is, is in bed with the Democrats because it's been my suspicion for many years that the UAW is a key component of their money laundering operation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Getting sidetracked here in that, yes, the leadership isn't going to change. I just hope enough of the rank and file sees it for what it is. Well, you we're know? both sons of auto workers, and we obviously live in Michigan. We have many auto worker friends and other family members, and we know that they're not they're not pro Democrat. So I'm not worried about the rank and file. This is all I have for this uh, topic here. Uh, like I said, at the risk of being a political pragmatist, uh, uh, I'm I'm tentatively uh, encouraged by uh, by this endorsement of RFK. But uh, you know what? Time will tell, and we'll, we'll we'll see whether or not this all works. Okay, uh, we'll call this one a wrap. Thanks everyone for your support. We'll catch you in the next segment. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>